please give a warm round of anything for Rashad Eggleston. I was thinking of this song because uh, I, some of the guy backstage, Marty, I think, making food, he's like, what's your superhero name? And then, then I, like, you know, when you train yourself to think in songs, then it happens. It's all wild man, weird man, shark man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, can you give me a jerk man? Because that's like, it's like, or maybe it should be like a longer build up, like wild man, strange man, sad man, green man, tweaky man, shark man! Thanks. <laughs> Sweet. Hey. Where was I? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm all like goblin-y and bouncy. Chip around, spot chip galleys. Thermidor, Propolor, Marga John's milk. Never thought the nut cat was born of the silk. But the man's cactus clan muffled up the mirror of the snare. Was it really worth the trouble? Just a double over under back, spatula smack collect. And how the thunder butters people's a black you know. Do you wash in the tub? Give your buddy a scrub, or is it only in the dark that you jip the jub? Up nubby and a bub scubby and no joke, jack wigs quack. I'm never looking back, cause cause it's time to take a ride on the side of the triple ladder. Rose breath, door squawk, squeeze. Mr. McFoob, Mr. McFoob, tell me about the fourth dimension. Mr. McFoob, Mr. McFoob, tell me about number can't stay in the green. Yeah, play jazz. Mr. McFoob, Mr. McFoob, tell me about the fourth dimension. Oh, yeah. Mr. McFoob, Mr. McFoob, knows to tell me about number can't stay on the green. Yeah! Well, back, you flip up a theme of fiddle, baby, and brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Can you just answer me? This, this is a song called Unbalanced Greetings. Unbalanced Greetings. For example, I, Mr. Fruity over here, church man, really excited to say hey to you, and you're just like, hey. <laughs> so I need you to give me a really apathetic hey. I'm all like, hey, 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 now, you see, if two people are, like, enthused, then it ruins it, okay? Please try to calm yourself. <clears throat> and this is, like, this is sung from the perspective of my Seattle-based alter ego named Mike Manzano. <laughs> He's, like, kind of more like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, <laughs> like, I got some vibes. Different than Eggleston's vibes. We got more on Eggleston coming up, but you stay tuned for this. Oh, and in the middle part, when I stop saying hey and actually say some verses, you can be like, in the same place where you said hey, you can be just like, weird. Okay, check it out. Doesn't even exist. I'm gonna climb up the highest mountain and see how many clouds I can kiss. I give Tweaky greetings cause I'm Mike Manzano. I got a brother named Phil. Mike. My brain's made of eggs, I'm a hatcher rooster. I'm gonna teach it how to chill. Oh yeah, <laughs> teach it how to chill. Okay, we're gonna modulate, you can say it excitedly. Oh yeah! Now, uh, I'm gonna do two half songs. This one's for Phoebe and Sam and uh, Emily that are in one of my classes. They're just so friendly that I had to do this one. This is about, okay, this is not about nothing. Let me tell you something. Look at this suit, look at this cello, look at this face, look at this hair, look at this hat, look at this dementia. <laughs> A scientific person could tell one obvious thing about me. What is that? Oh, motherless child. Oh, he's an Aquarius. He grew up on a farm. He was born in a hospital. He went to high school. He is from the future. And old people in the crowd, I know that you're kind of tripping these days on how the young people on the radio sound, and they sing, and they're all like, Oh, it's now in time. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I think it's crazy. But what's even crazier is how they sing in the future. And I'm going to give you an example of that, okay? Just to prove the whole concept of relativity and stuff. Well, you was looking for the table, but you landed on the floor, and you don't know what you get into anymore. And you're looking for the window, but you're dirty on the door, and you don't know what you get into anymore. Well, you might as well just go back to your mommy cat now. No, no. Well, you might as well just go back to your mommy cat now. 
him Yo, I gave me quite a day, but you let me on the floor And you don't know what you get in into anymore And you look looking for the window, but you touch me on the door And you don't know what you get in into anymore Well, you might as well just go back to your mommy cat No, no, no You might as well just go back to your mommy Back to your mommy, back to your mommy cat Also, they don't have time for long songs in the future. <laughs> Might as well know. Okay, speaking of another, long, another short song, well, it's really short. There's a final score in my life. And it's Eggleston versus fear, right? Or like fear could be represented by a tangible object because you need to make it tangible because it comes swirling out of the ether and kicks your... So I made it into Robert De Niro. <laughs> and the final score is Eggleston to zero. <laughs> Eggleston to zero, Eggleston to zero. Once I had a match with Bobby De Niro, in which the final score was Eggleston to zero, Eggleston to zero, Eggleston to zero. The object of the game was to save a snucky Sneero with more style and a sketchy smile. It'd be an understatement to say it took a while. But he looked at me with a Fafelian grin, <laughs> which made the goosebumps stand up on my skin. <laughs> So I took a hint from the land of the nap And I introduced myself as the leather bath Eggleston to zero, Eggleston to zero Once I had a match with the puppy De Niro In which the final score was Eggleston to zero Eggleston to zero You get it? Yet? Yeah. It's one of, also in the future Songs end suddenly <laughs> Just like life Now Hey, calm down, calm down, it's all good. <clears throat> now you've all, water, anybody? Water, water. Please don't throw it to me, that's how I got a hole in the side of the cello, you can roll it. Little peppery puppy poking people purple oh. oh, because it's the 4th of July, while they're bringing me the water, hey, thanks, buddy. Let me just do one thing for you. Now, remember, you guys have heard of Mouse Princess, right? Because they're like, oh, there's three engaged dudes. Well, right? I mean, what am I going to be? Engaged to someone named Susan? <laughs> yeah, right. 
Sorry, no, no, I'm just kidding. I love the name Susan. Actually, I always thought I was gonna marry a Susan until I met Mouse Princess, and her name's Mouse Princess. So this is the Mouse Princess Adventure theme song. Note it's not actually like about the person Mouse Princess, but about the mythical shadows that she casts upon the air. Okay. Where's my water? <laughs> Oh, it's just a crumpled piece of paper and it gets punted into the bob. Sorry. Thank you, I got my beach bag. How great. How, how wonderful. Because it's an adventure theme song, it starts with I wish I had time to show it to some of you fast fiddlers over there. It's all. So it's gonna be a story. Are you ready to listen? Well, I followed my heart and it led me to a cave which turned into a tunnel in the ground. And when I reached the end of the tunnel where the light was shining through, I heard a most peculiar sound. It was the sound of the princess growling at the hills that made the laces of my mind come undone. So I introduced myself to the sweet young thing and that's how this adventure begun. She told whoa, 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 me her name, Mouse Princess. Then she took me to her castle way and up the magic hill Which flowed beneath the violet star And we skipped along the river till we made it to the bridge And rested in a bird-shaped car She said the bridge goes to Seth where there's goblins in the trees But the bird flies to outer space And I knew she totally needed to drive that ship Just by the look upon her face So what we do? Mm. We flew through the stars with comets glowing all around Everyone was ready to rage, yeah. We had a party, a wild Seth party that was madness in the air. Mm. We had a party, a wild Seth party, everyone was there. There was Harriet Zaboga, oh sorry, there was Gabriel Paniga, Steve Spaluga, Harriet Zaboga in a fancy dress, Sarf Weasel, Sissy Arks, and Mr. McFoob, but most of all, Mouse Princess! Yeah, they formed a little circle and they put her in the middle and they lit her up with vibes. And she circled and she wiggled and she danced around electric and the crowd went completely wild. They said, yay, Snap, S-N-E-T-H, S-N-E-T-H. Yay, Snap, party for Mouse Princess, P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S. But then it came to the end of the night. The violet star would soon be shining brighter than anything. So we dragged each other back through the woods of snuff Then we laughed all the way to the bridge ha, ha, ha. We took a left and stumbled up the mountain just in time For a beautiful star ride And then we walked upstairs, there was lots of zebra print We passed out on the floor So now we're at the end of the story here I hope there'll be a whole lot more <laughs> Thanks. I just 
I just had to play one long one for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my system. Okay, so to transition us into the ultimate finale, can you please whistle this melody? And if you close your eyes and imagine the beginning of a triumphant Western movie, it helps. For those of you who don't know, this is about the singular most, well actually, well one of the singular most powerful moments in my life. Just heart to heart if I can tell you, okay? It's something that happened on May 6th, 2012, and I will never ever forget it. And I'm choosing to share this intimate and precious manly soul-defining moment with you. Okay. I peed on a bird, I peed on a bird, I stood on the edge of the cliff and I peed on a bird. Please whistle. I peed on a 